Welcome to the session. My name is Nick Theo. I'm program manager at the Isle of Trust. And we have uh, Francesco who will be handling the communications with all of you uh, during the session. But I'd like to introduce uh, Jevon Dangeli and Dr. Henny Geldenheis, who are the course leaders for the Certificate in Transpersonal Coaching Psychology. So um, I guess there's a first question define what is transpersonal coaching psychology? How is it different? What are the benefits as a uh, comparison to uh, traditional coaching? I'd be glad to have a go with that one. Hello, everybody. I'm Javon. And well, this is a, a common question that we get. And I think there are many distinguishing factors that separate transpersonal coaching from what might be considered conventional life or business coaching. But primarily it is that we value the transpersonal or spiritual perspective. We utilize techniques or processes to access expansive states of consciousness. And then we draw from those expanded states, creativity, inspiration, and ideas that we channel into the various areas of life in which that can be useful. This is quite different already from traditional coaching. We'll utilize tools like meditation, mindfulness-based practices, and practitioners who already have a background in spiritual practices can bring those practices into the transpersonal coaching context and integrate their practices with our transpersonal coaching model very well. There's one other um, condition, I think, that is, is quite common in our coaching approach, which is that people often come, clients that would be with uh, crises of a spiritual kind, people who are experiencing spiritual awakening or a crisis on the path to awakening, perhaps, and they're seeking ways to understand the abstract experiences that they've been having and to integrate those experiences into the various areas of life. So our coaching model is particularly useful with that regard. So we're accessing transpersonal states on purpose and when clients come to us because they're in transpersonal states and struggling with it, then we help them to integrate those experiences so that they can be utilized meaningfully in life. I could go on, but I think I'll leave it at that for now, Nick. Let me ask, you know, for you, Jeff, and, and for Henny, how did you get introduced to transpersonal coaching and how have you been using it in your respective professions? Well, I'll, I'll jump in here if I may, Nick. Um, well, for me personally, uh, I'm a medical practitioner by background, and I found it very useful to integrate the transpersonal approach into what I do. I'm really interested in the healing professions because of my medical background. And I have um, been fascinated about how this transpersonal approach can, it is so diverse. It can be applied in so many different fields. We've had people in our classes that come from various backgrounds, yoga practitioners, healthcare practitioners, but also just normal people like the rest of us. And they've all found ways to integrate this philosophy into what they do, whether you have an existing professional practice like I might have, or you might have, or whether or not, and you are completely new to coaching. We treasure the potential to apply these perspectives to whatever you do. In fact, we don't have a by numbers approach to things. We, we urge you to, throughout the course, develop how this works for you what you bring all experiences that you've had in life up until this point is completely valid and is completely useful and we hope to create the space through which you can integrate what we share with you into what you do presently or more importantly what you plan to do in the future That's a wonderful answer, Henny. And yeah, I can only reiterate, it really doesn't matter what your background is. If you see potential value in these broader perspectives, 
to be utilized as resourceful states to deal with the challenges that, that show up on the path through life. And, and these need not be spiritual crises exclusively. As I mentioned before, they could just be stress, burnout, anxiety, um, fear, loss, and even trauma. Our particular coaching model extends itself very well into these various domains. My background is in martial arts and in mindfulness practices. And I was first trained in more traditional life coaching and from an NLP background. And I've always had an interest in sports performance and performance in, in work as well. And although that is quite a mainstream context, I started to realize, although my interest was already there, that drawing from the, the transpersonal has tremendous scope and value. And I've also spent a fair amount of time in, in spiritual centers and meditation retreats around the world. And it has always interested me how people access wonderful resourceful states in their meditation practices or in the company of spiritual friends. Yet when they leave those contexts and step back into life, they struggle very often to integrate their spiritual values and ideals into the areas of life in which they're struggling. And I started to recognize, well, you know, there are ways of anchoring and embodying these wonderful states and perspectives so that they're meaningful and useful to us in all areas of life. And so we began to develop, going back about 20 years now, specific coaching models that assist people in, in embodying these expansive states and applying them in very practical ways, where the rubber hits the road, in work, in the family, in social settings, sport performance, and, and the types of contexts and issues that clients would typically bring to the traditional life or business coach too. So uh, many of the people that come to this course are already practitioners and they're interested in this transpersonal coaching specialization. But like Henny has suggested, there are a lot of people that don't have any form of background in this line of work and they're starting off fresh. And so we actually teach from the ground up. You needn't have a former background in this kind of professional work. And um, you could be starting in this new career direction for which this course would be quite optimal. And, so, and just to add, just to add for, sorry to interrupt you, Nick, I must warn you that once Yvonne and I start talking about this, we never stop because we're so passionate about this. But also, you know, I mean, to me, what attracts me to transpersonal coaching is the fact that it is practical, it has meaning. The transpersonal is very often this sort of abstract concept, isn't it? And it's, it's important to talk about it, but it's also very important to put it into practice. Uh, and, and coaching is about doing that. It's about making it meaningful. It's about anchoring our concept, our appreciation of whatever the transpersonal might be to you, but anchoring it for your clients, but also for you as the coach, because you can't coach people in transpersonal through transpersonal means if you yourself don't go through a growth process. Okay. Thank you. This is a, this one year certificate, you know, it's, it's um, labeled as a online course and that has a vague meaning today. And Elf Trust, we do like to be a community, like to interact. So please uh, share with the group the, how the course is laid out, the modules, the interactions, what they'll be doing over that year. Well, the course is very interactive and participatory. We, we pride ourselves in taking the distance out of distance learning. And we've been doing online education for quite some time at Aleph Trust. And this particular transpersonal coaching course has been online already before it began its inception through Aleph Trust four years ago. And uh, aspects of it have been in person at various locations around the world that Henny and I have been co-presenting, but we've taken it online more and more, but really made an effort to sustain the kind of cohesiveness and group in the room energy and atmosphere that we've enjoyed at our in-person trainings. 
And so we've got ways and means to do that. And we think it's so important if one's going to, to do this type of work to cultivate that sense of being in the shared co-creative space, the held or liminal space in which the potential for growth and transformation is enhanced. So it's, it's heart work. We're connecting from one whole being to another whole being and among a group of beings. And you're going to learn to coach individuals and groups and to create that sense of we're in this together. We're here to learn and grow. At this one year program, we do that through three different modules. The first module is exploring the theory behind transpersonal coaching, the various models and practices that you'll then begin to explore and experience more fully in the second module when you begin peer to peer coaching and embark on a three month integrative learning practice of your own design, although we'll give you the frameworks and, and methods that you can choose from. So after three months of peer-to-peer -peer coaching and integrative practice, you then begin the third module of the program, which is when you start to coach external clients, as well as continuing with the support of your peers in peer-to-peer -peer coaching and supervision from Henny and myself. And so you've got all of that going on in about two week intervals. Every two weeks, we come together in sharing circle and in webinars as this group to explore the ideas and to learn new techniques, to see demonstrations, to share in that safe space. But running parallel to that are meetings with Aleph Trust's well-being officer, exploring various ideas and techniques that she makes available. And while all of that's going on, you also have access to live sessions with Aleph Trust's academic learning officer, learning how to explore and analyze all of this content through a critical lens. You know, we don't take the transpersonal or spiritual stuff too lightly. We bring a rigorous scientific lens to explore sp a specific phenomena that often have been considered outside of the realm of science. Aleph Trust is an academic institute. And so we sustain that academic rigor, even in this course. So critical thinking, academic writing skills, we feel are very important so that you can express yourself in a grounded way and thereby make these abstract phenomena more accessible and more useful to people. Can you, uh, you know, one of the cornerstones for any of the Elf Trust programs is that the student goes through transform the process. We've always looked at what we're doing is more than just absorbing information and spitting it out. We want to see that the person themselves have gone through a shift. Can you share uh, with us some of the, the journeys, the experiences of some of your students, uh, what happened with them as they went through the program? Well, I can, I can start off. Uh, I mean, just using myself as an example, and, and there are many examples. It is, it is quite profound to see how people have changed and how they can change in the course of the year. Uh, and it's nothing we do. It's just because there is this space, there is this medium. Um, and this is what people experience for themselves. For me, I mean, I can just say that in my process to become a coach and to start teaching coaching has been a profound experience for me. You can't learn this stuff without experiencing it. And as you experience it, you change. We, we hope you change for the better. And you, you have to confront certain things within yourself. You have to confront certain shadows within yourself. But at the same time, you discover capabilities and capacities within yourself that, that you never knew you had. There is no way, I believe, that you can do this course without changing inside and very often on the outside as well. And that's the way it's designed to be. This is, transpersonal coaching is about involving your whole being. It's not uh, something that's objective. It's not something that you do to someone. It's something that you do with someone. We enter into a very sacred joint space with someone, whether it be your client or your peers on the course. And um, 
of course you change. I mean, there's no other way, is it? Is there? Yeah. I mean, you deepen your experience. It's amazing. As um, as I started off by saying, to see how people, how they discover themselves. I'm fascinated, and it's it's a beautiful process. It is indeed. This program is as much about your personal growth and transformation as it is about learning the skills and processes that transpersonal coaching is known for. So yes, the two do go hand in hand. The more you immerse yourself in your own development through the program, the better equipped you become to hold space in that manner of clients too. So as a student completes their certificate, are they ready to go out there and be a professional coach certified as a trans, uh, personal coach? We get that question asked quite frequently. Yeah. Well, by the end of the one year program, you should feel confident and competent to go out and start professional coaching. You would have undergone a sufficient amount of training and guidance by the end of the year to be able to do so. Not all students leave the program on the same level. Um, some do need a little bit more hand-holding than others, but we provide that hand-holding. And by the end of the program, you're fully eligible for international coach accreditation because this program fulfills the coach accreditation criteria given by IACTM, the International Association of Coaches, Therapists, and Mentors. And so by the end of the program, you're going to leave with a coach certificate from Aleph Trust, eligibility for coach accreditation, and ongoing support and supervision that is made available as well. So it's not like the year ends and you're left all to yourself. You're going to get ongoing personal and professional support and guidance to establish yourself in, in a professional coaching role, if that's a new role that you're stepping into, or to integrate this work into your existing profession. Thanks. I do want to bring up to everyone who's here today, if you do have any questions for Jevin or Annie, by all means, just please put them in the chat window and then Francesca will share it uh, with them. So another question is that we do get uh, frequently, how does this certificate differ from the Ailth Trust Master's program? Because a lot of times there is an overlapping of interest They differ in, in several ways. Two are most prominent. The first most obvious one is that the MSc at Aleph Trust is a three-year program. The certificate is a one-year program. The second one is that the, the MSc is a three-year deep dive into the theory of transpersonal psychology, spirituality, and consciousness. Along the way, there are many experiences to be had, and there are along the MSc journey many experiential sessions and an integrative practice module of its own. The one-year certificate program is for practitioners. It's where the rubber hits the road. You're going to get your hands dirty. We're going to get practice with the techniques. So it's really geared for people that want to become practitioners or who are already practitioners and want to learn this coaching specialization. There's going to be a relatively deep dive into the theory too. That's how we start off in the first module of three months. But within that module, we already start to dip toes into the applied domain and start to, to have personal experiences with the various techniques that we kind of try on through engaging in the materials. But from the second module onwards and throughout the entire second and third modules, it's all about practice and where theory meets practice. Um, so by, by the end of the course, you know how to do the stuff versus research the stuff. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Who benefits? most from attending the certificate course and also uh, share with us, you know, transpersonal coaching is like a large set, specific ways how students and graduates are using it in their profession. Well, 
Well, I mean, it, it, I think the possibilities are endless. I mean, I think some people would do this course and they would start practicing as transpersonal coaches. I, I, other people might integrate what they learn into an existing practice. Or, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's up to you if you want to do something completely different, even then, what you learn from this year course will definitely benefit you in whatever area of life you are moving in. I'm convinced of that. I mean, purely as, an, and I see George's question in the chat window, by the way, is this sort of a viable career in a way? Is this a feasible career option? I, I do think it is. I, I, th I think there are many coaches out there that are providing meaning to many clients that are providing a service. Can you make a living from it? Yes, absolutely, you can. Um, everyone has their niche. And, you know, these are some of the things we'll talk about throughout the year. These are the sort of practical type of questions that we will workshop. What would your practice look like? What type of coach would you be? What type of clients? I mean, we could take a drive down to the nitty gritty of how you actually integrate this into the nuts and bolts of a coaching practice. Can you make a living from it? I'm convinced. Can you use it for any other in any other way, integrate it to any other type of practice? Of course you can. I think the possibilities are endless. Thank you, Henia. And I might add that, you know, come the end of this program, you'll have a transpersonal coach certificate and the resources to begin applying that professionally. But you don't have to refer to yourself as a transpersonal coach because you will have in your skill set the ability to do what life coaches would be doing in their life coaching practices. If you have a business background, you can apply this very well in that business setting with corporates and executives. If you have any other type of background, it fits seamlessly with whatever it is that you do. Um, our coaching models and techniques are not so much prescribed A to Z models, but rather conceptual frameworks that can be drawn from to, to give some kind of structure to your thinking in sessions with clients. But they do not say, you've got to do this and then that and then this and then that from beginning to end of your session. That would be a very conventional or mainstream approach to coaching. And our transpersonal coach coaching approaches is very much about saying, well, you know what, that's not really client-centered. We see people as whole and as full of potential. We hold space for that potentiality. And then through making a deep intuitive connection from coach to client and co-creating that held space together, we draw from ideas and frameworks, whatever seems intuitively useful in the moment, but we are by no means limited to particular models. So the question then, you know, can you make money with this and, and, and in which context can you use it? It's like, of course you can. You can use it in all contexts. It will enhance what you do. It will en enhance how you think. But all by itself, it is a particular coaching practice itself. You can also refer to yourself as a professional transpersonal coach. And it is, in fact, a, a, a budding niche within the coaching specialities these days. More and more people are... Um, hearing about it and taking an interest in it and that includes clients too so there's another question about the classes being every other week that's true a specific day time well they're generally on tuesdays and our sessions go like this there's one at 9 a.m uk time then there's one at lunchtime, 1 p.m. UK time, and then there's one at 8 p.m. UK time. And then morning, afternoon, evening, morning, afternoon, evening, every two weeks. And that's how they go. All the sessions are recorded so that if you miss any, they're there and available to you. Of course, you'll be encouraged to partake in the live sessions because there's a lot to be experienced there that you might not appreciate as much by watching the recording. 
But a number of students have been challenged because of time zone issues over the years and missed several of the live sessions, and they've still excelled as coaches. So it's quite okay to miss some of the sessions. I would say if you can make at least two thirds of them, you're good. If you miss half of them, you can still be good, <laughs> but try not to miss half. Okay. Okay, uh, Francesca received a number of questions uh, by private message. I'll let you, Francesca, read them out because they're lumped all together as one. You can share that with Annie and Jevon. Okay, thank you. Um, one of the questions was whether we offer bursaries. Do we pay extra for supervision? Is it all 100%? Are we not going in the second part? Is it all 100%? Are we not going to do in person? I'm not don't quite understand that. That was from Jessica Hirani, who might want to say, to add something to, to that. Well, it's 100% online. And, and you're going to learn how to do coaching online, but the skills are completely transferable to an in-person setting. So everything you learn to do with a client at a distance, no matter where they are in the world, no matter where you are, is completely applicable to being in the same room. So that if you want to transfer those skills to in-person coaching, applies just the same. There's no additional cost for the supervision. The supervision that we make available to you is part of the program. The question about bursaries, I can't answer. <laughs> I'll chime in on that one. And uh, with L of Trust, unfortunately, bursaries are not available for our certificate and open learning programs. We do everything to keep the costs down and you'll find with our programs there's a lot of hands-on I mean, you are doing your own work reading and you know activity on the forums on your own time but this is not just an online course where there's no interaction or feedback so there is a lot going on for you as a student in that year and it starts on the 2nd of february to answer sandra's question that's our first uh, in-person, well, online, although it'll feel like in-person um, orientation session. So 2nd of Feb, just around the corner. I would love to answer the question about why is this useful for the world right now? Well, it's always been useful, but I think it's even more useful. I mean, I'm sure you all, you've had this experience, haven't you, about how the world has been in the last while. And I don't think it's it's a coincidence that there's been a sort of an a, an interest in the transpersonal approach. Uh, approach. I mean, I, you know, it's for, it's it's there, isn't it? We know what the world is like. We know what people need. People are looking for meaning, aren't they? They're looking for purpose. They're looking for a context for all these experiences that they have. Not good experiences, always sometimes bad experience. But you know what happens when the world is under stress and when individuals are under stress, it brings out parts of our being that need attention that perhaps we've neglected up until now. I think the time is right for the transpersonal approach and our integrative approach, our holistic approach, that the time has come, you know, and maybe it's just me i'm biased but the, the pendulum is swinging we've we've for a long time we've sort of fragmented things we've been reductive in our thinking i think it's time for us to bring everything together and i think we now i'm really getting philosophical philosophical but we as a as a as a species as a human as the human being phenomenon i think things are coming together and i think we who are students of the transpersonal approach this is our purpose. Huh? This is this is our time. This is what we are here for. Can you explain how a student is assessed? Are there exams? Are there assessments? There are three written assignments, one handed in at the end of each of the three modules. They are 2,500 word reports written on the topics that were explored in, in that module. So in the first of the three modules, being the more theoretic one, we're going to explore the value of a transpersonal perspective in coaching. We're going to look at how the transpersonal coaching approach 
facilitates transformation and growth in coaching. And you're going to engage with each other through text-based forums, as well as live sharing circles and webinars throughout that module. And then based on all the experiences you've had, there'll be specific themes and topics arising out of that, which gain traction in your mind, which appeal to you most, and then they become the topics that you write on um, in that first module. The second module is a report on your integrative practice and peer-to-peer -peer coaching. And the third module assignment is a report on the coaching that you've done throughout that, that module with external clients as well as peer-to-peer -peer coaching. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Georgie, what qualities do we have in mind in, in terms of the, the candidates for, the, for this course? Curiosity. <laughs> Plain and simple. Just be super curious and be interested in growing and expanding and in learning how to facilitate that for others. And to be a beacon of light in the world today, just to add one thing to what Henny said, um, we can choose to see the current conditions that are prevailing in the world as an opportunity for collective growth. In fact, some of us remain optimistic because we see it as such. And despite the intense uncertainty that debilitates many of us, causing chronic anxiety and fear because we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, we see this as a golden opportunity to let go of the old familiar, to step boldly into the unknown and to draw from uncertainty opportunities that would otherwise never have occurred to us. So we go boldly, but we go so strategically. You're going to learn how to embrace uncertainty and to draw from the unknown ideas, inspiration, and creativity, and to channel that into life so that we can be proactive, beacons of light. And so, you know, it's, it's philosophical, but we go about it in a practical way. Um, what, what, lights me up about this work is seeing how students and graduates on this program are taking their skills and ideas and bringing them to life in the world today and making a real difference. They're touching people's lives. They're helping people to overcome fear, to approach challenging situations more resourcefully, to expand, to grow. And there's a ripple effect of positive change coming about through this work. Um, and personally, that's why I do this. Could you use this or call it well-being coaching? So, uh, well, I, you could most certainly call it well-being coaching, but I think it is much more than that. Can you use it for well-being coaching? Absolutely. I mean, I think our approach is very well suited to well-being, health and well-being. I think calling it well-being coaching might limit the trans limit transpersonal coaching. It's certainly part of it, of course, well-being, but it's much more than that. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things that is really difficult to define. And we can talk a lot about transpersonal coaching and we can list so many qualities. And I hope you can hear the, the passion and respect we have for transpersonal coaching through the way that we talk about our experience. But whatever you're going to call it, it's much more than that. But is it something that aims to enhance your resourcefulness, to enhance your experience of life while not ignoring the bad parts? Is it an approach that integrates the whole human experience so that you are a more complete human being and that you mean more to everyone else and everything else. If that's your definition of well-being, then yes, you can call it well-being coaching, but it's probably that and so much more. Okay, and we have another question here. Is certification recognized internationally? Well, it is very much. The students on this program come from around the world and Aleph Trust is rapidly becoming much more internationally established. Although it's a UK-based institute, the MSc program is validated through Liverpool John Moores University. The certificate program is not, but that's the standard. And we have this validation that Aleph Trust 
represents and you're going to receive the Aleph Trust Transpersonal Coaching Certification by the end of it all. Then, of course, as I mentioned before, there is the international accreditation that you're fully eligible for. No questions asked by this end of the program. You can walk straight into the, that coach accreditation. So I think that does make it as, as international as any coaching course could wish to be. Thank you. Uh, are there any other uh, questions from the audience? Yeah, you know, as Jevin already brought up before, the first introductory session is February 2nd, so we're not, you know, there's not much time left. This is a, one of our most popular courses, by the way, and we do fill up every year. Uh, so if you are interested, uh, Francesca Hector is your first point of contact. And if you have more in-depth questions, you know, Francesca will you know, connect with me. And you know, Henny and Jevin are available you know, for quick questions by email. Hi, hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Andrews, do you have a question for us? How many students attend the course? Uh, we take a maximum of 30 students for this year. And for registration, we are to the point now, sooner rather than later, you know, we have only about seven days, but as I said, uh, we're also filling this course and we're almost full as it is at this point we only have a few spaces left so if you're definitely interested please connect with us in the next day or so because it takes several days to process uh individuals application and get everything squared away um i, I see also a question from andrew when you say transpersonal with would an aspect of this be the quantum field? And, and uh, would we also be learning about how neuroscience and spirituality are finding a meeting place? Uh, well, yes, all of that and more. I, you know, I think one should also be careful about terminology because there is a lot of difference in the words that we use for some of these concepts. So be careful about labels and we do try and avoid labels, but it's important that we do understand. So. I, I would agree with you that a lot of what people would call the quantum field comes into it, most certainly. Neuroscience and spirituality, remember, if you really want to go into an in-depth, more academic discussion, workshopping of these concepts, then maybe the MSC would be more appropriate to you. But we do delve into those concepts as far as it is useful for coaching. It is important for a transpersonal coach to be able to talk about things like the quantum field or to be talk, talking about how spirituality and neuroscience or any other science, any of the other, other sciences, how they come together, how they converge, how we apply that theory into coaching. The coaching course is about application. We aren't going to spend hours philosophizing, but we are going to talk about how those concepts are useful and how we use those concepts to help our clients and make it real. Transpersonal coaching is real life coaching. Thank you, Henny. Uh, for Jeb and for Henny, anything else you would like to share with the group today about the certificate course? Well, of course, Henny and I might be biased, um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we do love this work. And as I've said before, I'll say this again, I love this work because it makes a difference for individuals and for groups. And for those that didn't catch this bit, you're going to learn how to facilitate transformative process for individuals and to work with groups in similar ways. And, and you, you see a difference. <laughs> it's very noticeable. So this stuff works. It's not just theoretic, conceptual, wishful thinking. 
It's practical skills that identify valid and meaningful resourceful states that are beyond what the left brain or rational mind or even neuroscience might appreciate. But then we do seek to embody these broader states to grow new neural networks of potentiality. And we might use terminology that is known in neuroscience and in quantum theory, but we use the terminology metaphorically to highlight points so that it resonates with clients so that they get it and understand things in new and meaningful ways and therefore learn how to apply these ideas in their life. So it's client-centered all the way. We learn their language and through the process, we appeal to them. And, and so we'll touch on various subjects so that we have a broad range of ideas and skills to draw from. But then you're going to learn through this program to let go of all of that, to let go of everything, to bring your complete presence to the process, because transpersonal coaching is really about that. It's bringing all of you into that sacred, co-created space with the client in which transformation can happen. Uh, just in response, uh, for practical purposes, the course is offered annually each February. It's not again in September. So just to keep that in mind is once a year. Also from the tuition, it's not all due at once. We do a two installment plan where you pay the first half of the tuition now at the start of the course, and then you are billed six months later for the remainder. So that's a you know, frequent question. You don't have to have all the money up front at once. So it makes it you know, easier for people to attend. And there was one other, oh, how did you first get into transpersonal coaching? I don't know if it's directed to both of you or one of you, but I'm passing it along. Well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll start off with, <laughs> Javad has a different story than I do. My story started off years and years ago. I mentioned to you, I'm a, I'm a medical practitioner, I'm a medical doctor. And, you know, it's, it's, mm, it's always been, I've always had this sense that there's so much more going on behind the scenes. I was seeing patients and realizing that I'm missing so much if only I had an approach, a methodology, if only there was a philosophy that could help me with incorporating more of humanness, more of what it is to be a human. I was, I was exceedingly, exceedingly frustrated by the sort of fragmented way that we approach people according to modern science, particularly in, in medicine. That's what initially sparked my interest, that search for something more holistic, for something more complete. Um, and then my journey started with Javon years and years ago. So everything that I know about transpersonal coaching and that I've learned since then has been through him. Um, he lives and breathes this, this stuff. And um, countless people, including myself, have found so much inspiration from him. So he's perhaps the best person to answer the question, where did it all start? Well, I don't know. I learn and grow from what I get from Henny every time we interact. Uh, Henny brings so much knowledge and wisdom to the program too that benefits all. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm relatively young, um, approaching 50, but I have uh, been passionate about this topic all my life, not exactly transpersonal coaching, but spiritual phenomena are part of my life's journey for as long as I can remember, have been there since my earliest memories are in my school reports and um, have appealed to me all my life, although it wasn't part of my very mainstream upbringing in South Africa. Both Henny and I originate from South Africa. And, um, but through, through international sports performance in, in which I was involved in and, and that, I started to recognize that our true potential cannot be found in the cognitive domain. Our true potential is somewhere else, is something else, and there are specialized ways in which we can access that. And already in my early 20s, I became very excited about all of that. 
Um, and there wasn't much to, to learn about any of that at the time. But there have been wonderful examples that I have uh, been fortunate to experience in my own life through spiritual teachers, meditation teachers um, around the world. I dedicated 20 years to, to extensive travel to study from such individuals and eventually Transpersonal coaching came into existence. It was already spoken about, uttered in some silent corridors by others that were also exploring this at the time, but there was no transpersonal coach certification around. And these days, there is. So I hope you'll join the program and we'll get to share more about this in those corridors. All right, I put the link on the chat up on the chat window if you haven't made contact with us already at the bottom of of the page and that is uh giving you all the information about the one-year certificate in transpersonal coaching psychology uh fill that form out and francesco will get right back in touch with you and for everyone else who has already contacted us you know just email us back or if you have questions about any of our other programs, because sometimes when you attend uh, one of our open houses, you get a better sense of what, you know, what's best for you as an individual. And if it turns out something else, again, contact us. We're here to you know, talk with you to find out what is your best course of moving forward. And, you know, from Jevin, from Henny, from, Francesca and myself, I want to thank you for taking your time out because I know time is precious to attend the session. Um, and we look forward to having you be a part of our community. So thank you. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank everybody. you. We'll meet again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.